Hi, my name is Joe Rawcliffe and welcome back to the last episode of my Whisker vlog. So, Whisker's been and gone now. Um, for those of you who haven't seen the results, um, England did really well. We come top of the medal table with, if I'm correct, six golds, five silvers and seven bronze, which put us ahead of everybody. Um, for myself, I am, I'm really pleased to say that I managed to take first in the individual Kumite and we also took first in the senior men's Kumite, uh, which I was involved in. Okay, so for those of you who didn't get to go to Whisker and didn't get to see the stand of the competition, it was it was a fantastic event. Um, as always, the, the competition itself, the competitors, are always to a very high standard. But I was really impressed with everything else that they did in Italy. Uh, the stadium was, it was large, but it went really big, so it meant that it had a really good atmosphere. They did very well at getting a lot of spectators in, which, especially when the Italians were on, they really got behind, so it made it, like, like I say, the atmosphere was brilliant. They also did a lot of um, live video updates. So they were video and stuff literally it was going straight onto Facebook, straight onto YouTube. They were interviewing um, event winners. And all in all, I think it was a really well put together event. Okay, so in my individual community, the way it went was I fought a Brazilian in the first round. That was a really tough fight. Um, I only managed to pull it back sort of in the last 10, 15 seconds to get the win. And then fought a Mexican, a Spaniard again that was a tough fight it was a really cagey fight and then he went ahead with like 15 maybe 20 seconds left of the fight and I think I managed to score with two seconds to pull it to a draw and then I won that in the extension and then fought a Russian who had come he comes second on the junior day um, so obviously a very high caliber fighter uh, fought him we, we basically had a really cagey fight not much going on went into an extension and I managed to win that in the extension that meant I won my pearl, but there was eight pearls, so then I had to fight an American to make it into the medals. Um, he's what the American was one of the coaches, so he is a good fighter, um, and I managed to win that one nil. That then put me into the semi final, at which point I fought another England teammate and a good friend of mine, Ryan Tucker. Um, we fought each other three times this year already in, in domestic events, so every time we fight, um, we both know each other really well. It's really cagey and it's always very nip and tuck on who's going to make that first mistake, who's going to try and who's going to pull something out of the other person to, to try and get a, a one up. And luckily, I, I managed to be the one to do that this time. And then, obviously, that then put me into the final where I fought an Italian. Um, like I said about the support the Italians were given, obviously, the senior men's event um, with, one of, with one of their own in the final. It was a very noisy final, um, every time anything happened, obviously the crowd was going insane, obviously hoping that their, their competitor would score. Um, I went 1-0 down in that fight, um, we had a clash and I, I just missed, and he, he, he hit me in the body, but then I managed to pull it back, I scored the nip on, and then scored another point, and managed to win that three three points to one in the final, which was a Shogu Samo fight, so a three minute fight instead of the normal two, um, and to to, to two, the first of two weapons instead of the first of one. team events we had a buy in the first round which meant we would fight the winner of Belgium Lithuania uh, which in this case was Lithuania we then managed to beat them um, I won my fight 2-0 we then went on to fight Spain again we managed to beat them that was the semi-final and um, I won my fight uh, by an Ipon if I remember correctly um, we then got to watch who was going to be the, the, the other finalists with ourselves I am um, Italy were fighting USA the USA team were looking really strong um, and they managed, they won the first three fights, so obviously at that point they'd already won, it ended up 3-2 on the result, so that meant we fought USA in the final. Um, in the final, the US team switched their order up, which meant I fought the competitor who had come third in the in the individuals, um, really good fighter, I fought him in the last whisker, um, and he knocked me out, um, but I got to fight him again, and I won this fight uh, by Abuzari, um, and then we managed to we ended up beating them four once. So it was fantastic result for us, looking like a really strong team. 
Uh, but we just managed to, uh, to beat them quite convincingly when it comes down to it. We managed to get six goals um, across the whole championship, across various events. Um, but I'd like to make a special mention to the senior ladies team, who, although they didn't quite manage to win, they did come second and they fought really well against a really strong Hungary team. Um, at first, they fought to a draw, so uh, it went 2 0, 2 0, and a draw. And then my, my wife, Rian, had to fight the, the current world champion, um, and they fought that out to a one, one all draw and then went into an extension and unfortunately uh, Rian lost on decision but it was unbelievably close, it could have went either way um, and she fought really well in that in that fight. I'd just like to thank Martial Arts Kids for all the support they've given me, um, obviously they've provided me, me gears, but they've also provided me with um, extra equipment um, like the shin pads, foot pads so I can go and do extra events. It's just took a lot of stress out of worrying about competing and it's allowed me to do some other events that I probably wouldn't have done because I didn't have the equipment so I just wouldn't have done it and I think getting them extra venting has really helped me to to improve and just, just be a little bit sharper and obviously in this case I've managed to win a world championship so I can't thank them enough for all their support. Okay so we've come to the end of the episode and the last in the series of the of my Whisker vlog. Um, there will be other videos going up that might just be fights but I'm going to try and do some slightly different stuff so please make sure to subscribe and like this video and check out the other ones and keep your eyes open for new content.